Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm just so grateful, delighted, and humbled that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today. I know some of you are thinking, what in the... <laughs> Jahannam. Jahannam. Is this video going to be about SQ? Now let's stop all the shenanigans and let's jump straight to the point. And let's address the elephant in the room. Not, not this elephant. The other elephant. Some of you like SQ? What's up with this title and thumbnail? Are you clickbaiting me? The answer is no. And you're an idiot if you think that I'm clickbaiting you. Way of life SQ. Keeping it a hundred. This sister was wrongfully arrested in downtown Miami. And no, astaghfirullah, she wasn't doing anything wrong or haram in downtown Miami near South Beach or anything like that. She was actually doing the most noblest of things that you could ever do, which was helping Black Lives Matter. Ma ah! Come on, S2, get it together. <sighs> helping Black Lives Matter protesters and uh, assisting them with medical attention. Protesting is haram, good for her. During her attempt to aid someone who was hit by a cop car in the protest, she rushed to their medical attention, and guess what? She was met by six to eight police officers in rioting gear, and when she was then detained and wrongfully arrested just for just her for helping, helping provide, provide medical, medical assistance, assistance to a protester. Protest. Being the team medic, she rushed to do her job, which was to help humanity, help the people in the protest who needed it the most. The police weren't interested in helping the protester, nor did they want her to help the protester. And we've seen this before, where cops could knock down a protester, and then when another cop is actually trying to help them out, other cops are like, nah, 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 nah. Rub some Vicks on it, it's gonna be all right. Because of how adamant she was about helping these protesters as being a part of the medical team, uh, she was then reverse uno and arrested herself and uh, she was charged for battery and resisting arrest. These cops took her to the bookings and while processing her, forcefully removed her hijab. I said it, son, that's real, that really did happen. They forcefully removed her hijab no matter how much the sister was trying to plead with them, explain to them that, listen, I can't do this, this is a part of my religion, but they wanted her to take that mugshot so bad and they told her to remove her hijab. She said no, she protested within the jail cell. And uh, unfortunately, they still forcefully removed her hijab and made her take the mugshot. Now, besides this being extremely unconstitutional and a straight up violation of her religious beliefs and her rights, the cops clearly ignored the most important factor of this entire thing that she had something called hijab hair. The sisters know what I'm talking about. Wearing the hijab all day long, sweating underneath there. Some of you wear the bonnet on top of there. When you take off the hijab, it's not the most flattering type of hairdo. Your hair's all messed up, you're all sweaty. And straight up, it's it's not the best look, if you get what I mean. Now, obviously, I'm making light of the situation. Relax out there, all right? Uh, I've had the pleasure of being arrested myself. And during my mugshot, alhamdulillah, I was lucky enough to not only have hair, but a fresh shape up. Now, her religious rights were violated. Her constitutional rights were violated. Now, you add insult to injury. They now broadcast her non-hijab wearing face, that mugshot, on national on TV. Simple, huh? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, try to understand the gravity of this situation. Forcefully removed her hijab and she was pleading with them, explained to them, you know, this is my religious beliefs and then they took the picture anyways and then they aired that picture on national television. Well, maybe they just removed the hijab for the picture, you might say, and then they said, all right, sister, put the hijab back on while you wait in this smelly cell. Uh, you'd be wrong, and I should correct you right now. She was in that cell for over seven hours! I kid you not, seven hours without her hijab. The police officers refused to give her the hijab. I, I don't know, I didn't. I don't, I don't know if they wanted her to, not to flex on them with the hijab. I don't know, but they refused her her religious obligation, her religious rights, and that's just straight up wrong. Now you might be in despair more, like, SQ, what are we gonna do? These Cops are after us, they're violating us, they're frisking us at the security in the airports, and they're now just stopping searching us. What are we gonna do, huh? Well, I have a solution for that. Now, in come my buddies, my pal, my partners at Care Florida, who said, listen to me, what, uh, say what? What are you gonna do? You're not, you're not giving her rights to wear the hijab? You are wrongfully arresting her? 
uh-uh, you ain't gonna do that anymore, and they bailed her out. If you don't know about the CARE organization, you're literally missing out. CARE's a nonprofit legal organization that focuses on fighting for the religious rights and injustices that happen against Muslims. For those Muslims who are wrongly incarcerated, arrested, harassed at the airports, CARE is there Bars. to help you remove you from those situations and they totally have your back. So CARE out of their own pockets, bail the sister out and will be covering all the court costs for this sister. And I wanna give you an opportunity to help support the sister who was incarcerated wrongfully and the CARE organization overall so we can contribute to this Sadaqah Jariya. Click the description below to support care and support the sister Ayla so that we can deliver her from injustice and this doesn't happen anymore. We're going to help file a civil lawsuit against these police officers and the cops overall so that Muslims and non-Muslims alike will never have to experience this ever again. Guys, it's important that we support initiatives and organizations that literally are fighting for our rights, putting themselves on the line, on the legal standpoint, fighting for our rights and keeping us out of trouble. As link will be in the description so please support with whatever you can for this sister's case so that we can stop these injustices happening forever tell me in the comment section below if you or someone that you know have ever encountered any legal trouble or prejudice against you just because you were a muslim if you do me this huge favor before you leave me uh go perform a ghusl you know and and really wash off those sins off of you and when you come out that shower all luscious and golden and just dripping with all these minor sins falling off your skin if you could just perform like two rakah for me, just two quick sunnahs, two rakah to ask Allah's forgiveness and his mercy and his bounties. And as soon as you're done with those two rakah, you do the salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah, salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. I want you to go downstairs, right? And uh, find some ajwa dates. And I want you to eat about one to three ajwa dates, maybe seven if you want to follow the sunnah. And as soon as you're done with that, take those seeds, go outside, put them in the garden, plant them in the seed, plant them, plant them, push them all the way down, get some water water those plants and if you could come back to this video and smash this video with a huge thumbs up i sincerely appreciate you may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all if you made it to the end of this video by some miracle that means you enjoyed this video to the degree that you should consider subscribing by hitting this button right here if you'd like to spend a little bit more time with me click this video right here and until next time i'm out